Let's talk about the types of clients that we're getting. So in your mind, what's the right sort of client that would have an advisory board need? So is it a certain revenue size? Is it a certain amount of employees? Um, is it a certain business or is it certain um, issues that they're uh, involved in? I think it's got to be a client that is on the growth path or looking to grow. Somebody with 10 people who has grown from zero two years earlier and is planning on hoping to grow to 50 people in the next five years, uh, you know, that would be an ideal. So it's how ambitious they are and whether they have a bigger vision than just operating where they are at the present. Well, I, I think the bigger the better. I mean, Diane used to have, um, I think, 25 employees and 10 million or 15 million in sales. And um, middle management was a key word. And, um, and we had two or three or four of those in, over the years. And that was great. We, we've come way down in the numbers, you know, in terms of revenue and people now. Mm. The current advisory boards. The current ones. It's a fabulous opportunity, but they're small. Sometimes to me, it's less about revenues. It's more about the situation that they're in and the multiple questions that they may have regarding the market. So there's no right answer per se. I agree a larger company would be much more interesting. Uh, but, but I found that they were yeah. quite interesting. Yeah, and I, that's certainly, yeah, and they're unique and they're yes, great. Exactly. Yeah, they just don't have the old profile. I think having a company that's facing some challenge, mm -hmm. that they, you know, some broader challenge, whether it's growth or profitability or a new product launch or something like that, they recognize it being outside their capabilities. Is it ideal? Those things are hard to find. 